Hello friends, it's Mrs Dawson here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to read all of the notes on the lines and spaces in the bass clef. And then I'm going to be showing you an online game for you to practice your note reading. So let's have a go at reading notes on the lines and spaces and have a think about how we do that. Here are all the notes on the lines and spaces in bass clef. You can see that they go up in order, just like the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. When we're reading notes, there's two types that we can have. We can have notes that are on the line. Here are the notes on the line in bass clef. You'll see that the line slices through the middle of them. Or notes that are in a space. That means they're squashed between two lines. To remember which note is on which line or which space, we need to learn two rhymes. For the lines, starting at the bottom, we say Granny's boots don't fit Auntie. And for notes in the spaces, again, starting from the bottom, all cows eat grass. Let's have a go at working out some notes. The first thing we need to figure out is whether the note is on a line or in a space. So we need to look whether the line slices through the middle of the note, making it on a line, or whether the note is squashed between two lines, making it in a space. This note has a line slicing through the middle, so we know we're going to be using the rhyme for the lines. We're going to start from the bottom and we're going to count up. This note is on the second line up. So in our rhyme, we say Granny's boots. And we can tell that this note is a B because the word boots begins with B. Let's try another one. This note. First thing to figure out, is it on a line or in a space? This note is squashed between the two top lines. So I can see that it's in the space between them. So we're going to need our spaces rhyme. I can also see that it's in the fourth space up. So using our rhyme, I count from the bottom, all cows eat grass. And I know that this note is a G. Let's try one more. This note. First of all, is it on a line or in a space? I can see that it's squashed between the bottom two lines this time, so it must be in a space. Think back to our spaces rhyme, all cows eat grass. What note do you think this one is? That's right, it's an A. So now we know all of the notes on the lines and spaces, and we know how to work them out. You might also need a few extra notes, and to play the game that I'm going to show you in a moment, you will need to know these notes as well. And they are the couple of notes that are either side of our stave, which is the lines that our music is written on. So you'll need to know F underneath the stave and E, and you'll need to know B and C above the stave. It's really easy to work these out now that we know what the bottom line and the top line are. We can see that the bottom line is a G, so we just count backwards in the alphabet, G, F, E. And we can see that the top line is an A, so we just count forwards in the alphabet, A, B, C. OK, let me show you how to find the game that we're going to use to practice our note reading. First thing you need to do is open your web browser, go to Google, and type in name that note. We're going to search that and I want you to choose the second entry down. That's name that note NTN full screen. As soon as I click on this the game is going to open. It makes a horrible noise so I'll show you straight away how to turn the sound off. Scroll down and turn it off. On this first page you have two options. You have instructions and play. I'm going to show you how to play the game now, but if you get stuck later you can always come back to this page and check the instructions for yourself. So we click play. 
We're practicing our bass clef notes, so we click bass clef, and we are beginners. As soon as I click this beginner button, the game will begin. You see I've got my flashcard, I've got the timer running down here, and I've got all my options at the bottom. Soon I'm going to run out of time and it will tell me what that note was. Let's see if we can work out the next one. So I can see the line is slicing through it, so I say Granny's boots don't fit auntie, it's an A, and I click on A. Oh, this one's in a space. All cows eat. And I click on E. Can you see my score has gone up by 10 points each time? This one's easy. It's in the bottom space, so all A. This time, I'm going to deliberately give the wrong answer. I'm going to say that it's an E. You'll see that it tells me what the right answer was. But can you also see it's taken five points off my score? Have a go for yourself. I can't wait to hear about your high scores. Bye.